Back here at Comerica Park, and of course, this is Fiesta Tigre's evening here at the ballpark. And there's a familiar face, Pudge Rodriguez, who was honored before the game today for his contributions with the uh, Detroit Tigers. Five seasons here with the Tigers, and it was a beautiful ceremony before the game. And, well, it's always nice to be joined by Pudge uh, in the booth. And, uh, well, this has got to feel special. And, and you and I were talking before the break and how when you came back for the luncheon yesterday, Pudge, you kind of looked out over the stadium. It wasn't a view that you used to seeing. You're used to the view on the field, and you just kind of felt like this was home. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, good to see you guys. Good I see you guys, uh, what was it, three weeks ago? In Texas. Texas. Yeah. Yeah. In Texas, yeah. And uh, it was nice to be back here. You know, it was a uh, you know, good couple of days. You know, it started yesterday. You know, I came in town, you know, three days ago, and, uh, and I told my, my wife, Patricia, I said, uh, you know, it's good to be back. Uh, to a place that I lived for five years and I played for five years and and I can't wait to be at the park and uh, and basically yesterday was a, a very good day uh, you know I did a, a few Q and A's and uh, and uh, at the Tigers uh, area right here with with some people and then with the fans and uh, and be able to see the park and it's like you say you know it's you know I used to be down there right. but, but being in this side of uh, uh, of baseball right now, seeing the field is kind of like a, it's like a beautiful ballpark. It's like you know the fans are, you know, full house every night, and, uh, and, it, and it's nice to see that. What does it mean to you when you hear a lot of people? And I heard David Dabrowski say it as much yesterday. When you decided to come here as a free agent in 2004, you really changed the culture of baseball here once again. What does it mean to you to hear them talk about how you changed the culture here? Well, you know, after that triple, <laughs> it just oh, happened it's, right now. It's nice play by play. <laughs> after that triple, you know, uh, you know what? I, I just, uh, you know, back in back in 2003 when I won in the Marlins, uh, you know, it was a uh, it was an uh, it was an off season that I was preparing myself, and like I can say earlier when I did my speech in front of fans, uh, and, and basically when when the name of the Tiger came in. Uh, to see if I want to come, that was the uh, the thing that cut the, that make me most the attention because, you know, all, all the memories, you know, be able to be in Detroit uh, and, and, and wear the uniform. You know, so many, so many great players, so many players that is in the Hall of Fame, they wore this uniform and uh, knowing this field, you know, I was, uh, I was you know able to play in the old ballpark across the street for a few years and uh, and uh, and the atmosphere with the you know from the fans that support the team day in and day out you know i i told my agent that that was uh, one of the things that i want to that i want to be in and uh, you know i have some couple of things going on you know with the media in miami puerto rico i say you know why you are going to to Detroit, you know, you you just won the World Series, and I, and they have a, a bad season the same year that you won. And I say, well, it only takes one player, yeah, one player to come in town and open the doors to other players, and basically that's what I did. And and look, what you guys see right there today in the field, you see, you know, forty thousand plus fans, brand new stadium, and. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad to, to be part of this organization. All right. Now, before the game, you had an opportunity to throw out the first pitch. But you had a little <laughs> bit of a different <laughs> angle on throwing out that first pitch. We've got some video here. But uh, what, what, what led you to this? Well, you guys know I'm not a pitcher. <laughs> you can still play, too. I, you not, look like you can still play. I'm not a pitcher. You know, I, you know, I, I love to throw the ball to bases. And uh, one of the best bases to throw the ball for me was the second base. And... Uh, I did it. I, I, I did it a little high. I threw that ball a little high. Uh, but uh, hey, what was what your pop time on that? The pop yeah, time had to be about three probably or four. by seven <laughs> seconds. You st you st <laughs> Wait, but I threw it you, in there. You, you still got a little hot dog in you too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know I, I love to throw the ball to all the bases, and and that was my one of my favorite plays uh, bases to throw the ball. You still follow the game. I mean, you're in Texas quite a bit. You do some uh, some work on the television side for right. Texas. Right. I mean, I know you're still very fond of the game. So, I mean, what do you think about this Tigers team that uh, Dave Dabrowski has assembled once well, again this year? You know, every year is uh, David, you know, is, is is doing a tremendous job. You know, every year they, you know, every year that comes, he's doing a, a better and better and better. And uh, 
you know, have, you know, adding uh, David Price into the rotation yeah. is an unbelievable. You know, everybody, every team in baseball wants to have him in his rotation. And, and when you see now that the Tiger has Sanchez, have uh, Porcello, have uh, 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 Bill and the Searcher, and now him, you know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. It's pretty good. You're gonna have, you're gonna have five guys in the rotation. He's gonna throw at least six, seven innings per start. Right. And uh, then you have a, a guy like Yaba. He's doing a great job. And the guys in the bullpen, you know, the guys in the bullpen, those are gonna be the guys that they, they, the team needs to count on. You know, coming in and uh, and come here and attack the strikes on and throw strike and don't try to do too much. Just let those starting guys. Give the innings that the Brad House must need, and then these guys coming in from the bullpen and and pounded the strikes home and throw strikes. Michael McHenry, the batter here. The Rockies have a runner at third with two outs, and Porcello missed inside. You know, all the years you played, Pudge, you had to have a lot of mental toughness to be able to play that position for so long. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's uh, but it's fun. It's a fun position to play. You know, I I take a lot of pride in my defense. Uh, I was uh, a player. That my whole career, uh, you know, I always come to the park early, in uh, watching video, watching reports, and uh, and do my own notes and uh, and try to be better every day. You know, baseball, baseball is a sport. Then, uh, then if you want to be better and you want to be a good player, and if you want to play this game for a long time, uh, you have to listen and you have to learn every day. Sometimes, you know, because you learn new things every day in baseball, and uh, and that's what I did. You know, and. Uh, and plus, you know, I have a player that uh, that I play the game hard, and and I, you know, and I did my best every day in the field. We appreciate what you did for us here in Detroit. Enjoy this big crowd. Part of this is because of you, Fudge. Thank you for but stopping. Thank up. you for having me. Thank All you. Right. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, Rodriguez. Thank you. Stepping in the booth tonight.